In December 1991, a little courtroom in Florida became the center of world attention. A man called William Smith was on trial for sexual battery, rape. What caused the excitement was his full name, William Kennedy Smith. His mother, Jean, was one of the Kennedys. Could you tell us the names of your parents? Joseph Kennedy and Rose Kennedy. And what are the names? Please tell us the names of all your brothers and sisters. Objection irrelevant. Uh, does that mean I say it? Yes, you can go ahead. Uh, Joe, my oldest brother, was killed in the war. Jack, Rosemary, Kathleen, Eunice, Pat, Bobby, myself, Teddy. While Jack was alive, the Kennedys were the royal family of America. Then came the bad times. After Jack, Bobby was assassinated. In 1969, Teddy crashed through a bridge on Chappaquiddick Island and left Mary Jo Kopechny for dead. Bobby's son, Joe, crashed a jeep and paralyzed a female passenger. Robert Kennedy Jr. was caught with heroin. Teddy's wife, Joan, drunken driver. At a hotel in Palm Beach, Florida, David Kennedy, another of Bobby's sons, died after an overdose of cocaine. And now again at Palm Beach, at the Kennedy's own holiday home, the stage was set for the latest scandal. The rape, if there was a rape, happened on this lawn in the early hours of Easter Saturday. William Kennedy Smith. His uncle Teddy, Senator Edward Kennedy, rallied round. Let me just say I have great uh, love and affection and for uh, Willie. I've known him all of his life, very fond of him. And I'm uh, absolutely uh, satisfied, I'm absolutely confident that uh, when all the facts come out that uh, he will be vindicated. It was Teddy who, around midnight on Good Friday, had suggested a trip to this local night spot. Here, his nephew Will met a local girl. They danced, they kissed. She gave him a lift home. What happened next was the subject of the trial, and the rather snobbish resort was embarrassed to find that it was front page news and the scene of a carnival. <laughs> surrounded the courthouse. A thousand reporters and television crewmen jostled for places and filled a temporary press center. One man's job was to try to protect the identity of the accuser by keeping a blob over her televised face. But as soon as the trial was over, she revealed herself. And in this film, we are able to take the blob away from the face of Patricia Bowman. He raped me. If the competition's doing it, then you've got to do it too, or else you seem like you're, you're missing the boat. This guy's middle name were Brown, nobody would be here. But because it's a Kennedy, we're all here, and there seems to be a tremendous amount of interest internationally. In the T-shirt says, Omar, O Kennedy, O... Well, you get the message. So it was just to take advantage of the situation, I guess, and just make a joke of it a little bit. And it's not a joking matter, I know that but everybody got so heavy that it's a little light thing that everybody can enjoy. Will and his famous family chose to attend every session of jury selection. Would-be jurors were asked what they thought of the Kennedys. I'm a very sensitive person. I'm not talking political party. I'm talking about the assassination. He doesn't have to take graft. He has enough money. You see, I think, I think basically he's idealistic, but 
maybe he's a little horny, you know. Maybe. <laughs> well, the worst thing with the Kennedys, from what I've read, and I don't know how true it is, yeah. that they're very smart, but, but when they get horny, <laughs> it takes... Their penis takes over, the brain closes, and that takes over. I know I'm the one who's been charged, and I'm the one who's on trial. But it's difficult sometimes not to feel in some, that my family's on trial for me, and in some strange way, I'm on trial for my family. And that's really not fair to either of us. I'm breathing a sigh of relief because we've got a jury and we can start the trial and get this whole process underway. Do you and each of you solemnly swear or affirm that you will well and truly try the issues between the state of Florida and the defendant, William Kennedy Smith? Jeopardized by the prosecution team, a demure Patty Bowman prepared to tell her story. Please call the truth, Bowman. Please state your full name for the record, Patricia Joyce Bowman. Could I ask for the microphone to be turned up a bit? Ms. Bowman, how old are you? I'm 30. What is your date of birth? August 11th, 1961. In what city do you live? Jupiter, Florida. Um, do you have a daughter? Yes, I do. How old is she? She's two and a half. Ms. Bowman, on the morning of March 30th, 1991, did you meet an individual by the name of William Kennedy Smith? Yes, I did. Do you see that individual in the courtroom today? Yes, I do. Could you point to him and indicate where he's seated today? He is standing right there. What did you say when he asked you to walk on the beach? I said yes. Why did you agree to uh, go and walk on the beach with him? I was enjoying his company. Um, uh, he, was, he was an intellectual man. He had done nothing suggestive. I felt no fear in being with him. It was a nice night, and, uh, and I would have liked to have seen some more of the, the home. And, and we walked through the, the rest of the home towards the beach area. Did he ever indicate to you that he wanted to have sex with you on the beach? He, he, the conversations were never about having sex or, or of any sexual nature. After you <laughs> talked about what a nice night it was, did he say anything else? Yes, he asked if I wanted to go for a swim. What did you say when he asked you to go for a swim? I said no. Did you ever kiss him on the beach? Yes. Do you remember any conversation about kissing? A conversation between Mr. Smith and myself about kissing? No. Can you tell us what kind of kissing it was? Um. It, it was not the friendly kiss that I received in the car. It was getting a little more romantic, but I still did not feel that they were, they were sexual. Did you feel that by kissing him, you were consenting to have sex with him? No. Did he ever indicate to you that he felt by kissing him that you had to have sex with him? No, he seemed more interested in going for a swim. When he stated that he um, asked you if you wanted to go swimming, um, what did you do? I, I told him no. I, I did not want to go swimming. What did he do? He started to take off his shirt. And um, then he started on, on the, the tab part of his pants. Okay, what did you do? 